Galaxy A11. ¿Cómo te llamas? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Galaxy A11. ¿Cómo te llamas? Galaxy. Solo hay una persona. Lentes, mujer, pero largo. Hello, sí, hello. hello teacher. No. Hello, teacher. My name is Alma. Alma. Le vamos a cambiar a ese tu teléfono que dice. Ah, ah Galaxy, ok, teacher. Thank you. Alma, there you go. <ríe> Así nos decimos. Galaxy, Galaxy. Y vos, ¿quién, quién, quién? <ríe> All right. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. All right. We are ready. Yes? Yes. Perfect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make small groups. And quickly, we're just going to talk a little bit about our day with follow-up questions. So as an example, I'm going to ask Alma, Alma, how was your day? What did you do? And Alma is going to tell me, oh, I went to work. I, I had meetings. I took a shower. The typical. And I ask other questions. I ask follow-up questions. Okay, where did you go to work? Uh, what bus do you take? Or the different, okay? It's okay? It's okay. Yeah? Good. All right, let's begin. How are you? Hello.
Hello, hello, how are you? Hi, Stephanie, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm sorry for entering the late to the class. No problem, Stephanie. I put you in the group in this moment. Okay. Okay, we are good. A good day today. You talk with your partners, everything is okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, good, okay. Como se dice, eh, comí pollo encebollado? I eat, <laughs> uh, quiero ver, onion chicken. chicken. I eat um, I ate. I ate, uh huh. I ate, uh huh. Onion, onion chicken. I don't know. I ate uh, chicken with onion. There you go. I <laughs> ate chicken with onion. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. No es cierto para mí, pero solo quería ver. All right. So just check it. Good job. So today, this similar, we're going to do a little bit of an activity here we are going to take a look at today's topic. Cesar, can you please read today's topic 3.3, .3, the lesson objective? Yeah. Um, practice using adjectives and nouns to express comparisons in English. In this lesson, practice comparing houses and apartments to express similarities and, or difference. Additionally, learn how to use expression of quantity like just as, enough or too much to modify adjectives and nouns, for example, just as comfortable or too few closets. Okay, good. Only one pronunciation that we have to correct is here, just as comfortable. Could you repeat? Comfortable. Comfortable. Com no, 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 no for, no for. Comfortable. Comfortable, okay. Casi, casi, te saltas la O y la R. Empezar, comfortable. 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 Correct, comfortable. Okay, comfortable, okay. Excellent, Cesar, very good. Thank you so much. So in this moment, we are going to look at the three words, really four, but these are the three important. Just as, enough, and too much. Just as, enough, 
and too much, okay? So, okay, also, we also have another word that is too many, okay? With our partners, you and your partners are going to talk, what does just as, enough, too much, and too many mean? What is the meaning of the four words? And then give examples with just as, enough, too much, and too many. For this exercise, you will have six minutes with your partner to discuss the meaning and to create two examples for just as, two examples for enough, two examples for too much, and two examples for too many. With comparison with uh, the house and apartment or the any comparison topic. with any topic? Any, any topic, correct, okay. any topic. You ready? Remember ready. the four and two examples for each one and the meaning. Que significa? No, solo, ah, is that, no, what is the meaning also? Okay. Let's go. Six minutes. Jose? I put you into a group. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jose. Okay. A room seven, Bruno. Correct, correct. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, let's take a look. Cesar, explain just as, what you and your partners discuss. What is the meaning just as? Cesar? Hello. Hello. So uh, I, I I have problem with my connection. I... No problem, no problem, Cesar. It, it's okay. We go. We go with medium. Medium. What is just as? Uh no, just as is uh uh I was confused uh for this word. Uh -huh. Okay. No problem, no problem. Aida, what is just as? Aida? Aida, we don't hear anything. No sé cómo hiciste en el grupo. No se te escucha nada. Okay. All right. No problem, Aida. Okay. All right. Let me help you guys out. Okay. Just as is the two, the two things the same. Is the same. No difference. Is equal. The two equal. And put in the chat. This is the equal. The two equal. So, for example, is the same. It's okay, just as. Okay, teacher. For example, if I I use just as, uh, for example. The, the pupusas are just as delicious than tacos. Correct. So for you, the uh, two, the okay. same. Two, the same. Okay. No difference. Thank you. Exactly. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Eh, yo tengo una, bueno, tengo una consulta con mi compañero. Okay. Eh, eh, hice una oración. Dice, Toyota isn't just as Nissan. No, porque tener que describir isn't just as que. ¿Y cuál? Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, mínimo dijo just as delicious. Tener que describir, usar un adjetivo que, que no es igual que. Eh, no es igual de caro, no es igual de bonito, no es igual de, eh, o sea, no es igual de. Tienes que poner el que lo que está describiendo. Ah, de acuerdo. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso podemos decir, the pupusas are just as delicious as tacos, que los dos son deliciosos. Toyota is not, or, or Nissan isn't, o, o cuál, perdón, ¿cuál era que era? Toyota, Toyota isn't, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, so Toyota. Isn't just as. As pretty or just as. A good as Toyota. Nissan isn't as good as Toyota. Oh. Entonces solo faltaría un adjetivo. Sí. Antes poner... de Nissan. Uh -huh. De acuerdo. Después de, después de as, en medio del as, 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 va a ir el adjetivo. Ok. Okay, oh. teacher, gracias. You're welcome. What about enough? What is the meaning enough? Suficiente. Correct. Igual que significa que not enough, no suficiente. Okay. So enough, no necesito más. Not enough, necesito más. You can oh. read in uh, not enough in the chat. Yes. Let's, I chat. don't know. And no, but and not enough, como no es suficiente. Oh, not enough. Not enough. Okay, not enough. Mm -hmm. Only not, enough. not first. Yes. Enough. Okay. So for example, 
Uh huh. You're welcome. So you can say, I don't have, okay, I don't have enough, maybe money. I don't have enough money for a, a new car. Is not sufficient, okay? Does it want to say, teacher? Yes. In, in this case, you ask, maybe can you say in negative, not just as? Not just as. Yes. Yes, you can say not just as. And the other form? No other form. Yes. What is oh. the question? Uh huh. Si solo ocupa y parece negativo que no es lo mismo en inglés, solo dice no judas o puede ocupar de otra manera. El, el, el negativo de just. Yes. Exacto, solo, solo not just. Ok, thanks. Uh -huh. el, el not se puede combinar con otras palabras, pero tiene que usar el not. Por ejemplo, He is not just as. She doesn't have, or she, él does not have just as. O sea, lo puede combinar con otro, pero va a ser el not con la, el auxiliar. Es que a veces me he fijado que cuando usted dice, por ejemplo, que algo es eficiente, ocupan el, el UN. Creo que es UN, como eh, anterior a la palabra. Ajá. Ajá, entonces por eso tenía la, la duda. Por ejemplo, para decir que es insuficiente, ¿qué dice? Suficiente es enough. Ajá, no, insuficiente. Not enough. Not enough. No, ok. Ajá. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. A menos que cambiar la palabra. Yo creo que lo que te referís son a los prefijos. Por ejemplo, de felicidad y... y, y por ejemplo, vas a poner happy, si te entiendo bien, y va a ser unhappy. Happy, uh, unhappy. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Necesario. Yes, teacher. Necesario. Así te entiendo lo que estás preguntando. Ajá. ¿no? Sí, a, a veces, a veces eh, cuando he leído cosas en inglés, este, y si sí, lo quieren hacer como en sentido contrario a lo que se estaba diciendo o, o afirmando, ¿verdad? En una palabra, entonces aparece UN. Realmente no se me vienen los ejemplos ahorita, pero sí lo que usted ponía ahorita es para decir lo contrario. Sí, sí, de, pero depende de la palabra, son los pre, prefijos. Por ejemplo, si vos ves Tom Cruise, él, él hace una película que se llama Mission, Mission Impossible. No puedo poner Mission Impossible. En ese caso, para esa palabra son in. Entonces, no, no solo es la un. Tal vez la que has visto son frecuentemente un, pero no es un. Es simplemente el prefijo que va de acuerdo a la palabra, que van cambiando para lo, los sentidos contrarios. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ok. Ok. Solo muy buena pregunta lo que hace Karen. Solo que quedemos claro que en los que habla Karen son adjetivos. Enough no es un adjetivo. Esa es la diferencia. Por eso es que enough no tiene un enough, por ejemplo, o in enough, porque enough simplemente es suficiente. Right? Y los demás estamos hablando de descripciones de las cosas, no cantidades. Here, I, I turned off my camera because I have problem with the internet. That's okay. So it's no. more fluid with my camera turning off. No problem. It's okay. 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 Let me see. Yancy put one in the can. I want enough of eight. No, no, Yancy. Okay. Okay. Is is not correct. So we are going to use enough for the noun, not for the verb. Ok, entonces, okay. Para que no, no, no nos confundamos, no lo usamos con actividades, lo usamos con cosas. Tener suficiente, no vas a decir suficiente cocinar o suficiente comer, tener suficiente comida, suficiente 
eh, tiempo suficiente diferentes. Ahí es donde vamos a usar enough. I have enough, for example, en el, creo que lo que quiere decir es I have enough food. There are, ah, very good medium. There is not enough milk. Correct. This is the correct way with the noun. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Yancy. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. Good question, Yancy. Okay. All right. And what about the other word? Now we have just as. Okay. Igual que. Okay. Enough. Suficiente. And what is too much or too many? Too much is uh, demasiado. Demasiado. And too many? Uh, como uh, pocos. Okay. Yes. Están de acuerdo? I guess that too many is, is the same with too much. Correct. But, but is in the case they use is different, right? Yes. The countable two. and accountable. Exactly. Difference. Very good, Miguel. The two is demasiado. The two. But too much is uncountable. Too many is countable. Too many, countable. Remember, too many, plural. And too much, no plurals. Okay, so let's try a little exercise and see if we understand how to use. Look at number one and number two. What is the correct answer for number one? The first one. The first one, number one. First, no, number three. Yeah, number three, last. sorry, the third yeah. one, okay? The third the one. The third one. Good, good, Miguel, thank you. Okay, what about for number two? The last is the last. The number three, teacher. Number three, okay, okay. What about for question number three? Uh, the, first. the first. The first one. Okay. And number four? As much. As much. As much. As, as, much. as much. Okay. Mm, very good. Number four, correct. As much because space is uncountable. It's non-count space. Good. Right? Then we have, I don't like to live in apartments because they are number one. Don't have as many rooms as houses. Number two and number one, the same, the number three, right? Okay, it's just as. What is the meaning here in this sentence? In my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in the neighborhood. ¿Qué es lo que estamos diciendo allí? En su opinión, los apartamentos son igual... Eh son igual de caros, eh, las casas son igual de caras que los apartamentos de su vecindario. Exactly, just as, just as, igual que, not just as, no igual que, ok. Por ejemplo, alguna vez han ido a un restaurante y pidieron unas pupusas y son, uy, es igual de caro que como un plato de carne, just as expensive as me, más la de queso. So, <laughs> this is just as. <laughs> It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, good. Now we're going to see the topic. I We have about the next one, about our houses here, okay? Let's read this one. Um, let's see, Herson. Herson, can you please? Ah, okay, Miriam. Go ahead, Miriam. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Expressing wishes and desires is a big part of communicating with friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life, career, or health. This lesson from English teacher Joe Sanz explains mm -hmm. how to use the verb to wish in the present tense and com combine, combine mm -hmm. it. Uh -huh. Combine it combine. with a past, combine, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, 
I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. Or I wish I were thinner. This lesson includes an oral language comprehension exercise. Okay, very good. So here we're going to have a lot of I wish. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to imagine your perfect house. Imagine your house, Diego. Where? The location? In the lake, the mountain, in the city, at the beach. Okay. Imagine how many bedrooms, Jose? One bedroom, two bedrooms. Imagine, Alma, you have a big closet or maybe you have a swimming pool, Aida. For me, I imagine my house, I imagine I have a beautiful house in the mountains with wood, okay, with the wood walls. And for me, I imagine with a lot of trees in around my house and maybe a small, a small lake only for swimming or to relax. And I imagine that there are so many birds or animals. And, and for me, is maybe in somewhere like La Palma, Chalatenango, okay, Monte Cristo, mm, I imagine. And this is the idea, the idea you imagine with your partner and you describe what is your perfect house, okay? Maybe in your house, you have a jacuzzi, maybe a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. In my house, it's very cold in Chalatenango, I have a sauna, Jeez, ¿por qué no? So, <laughs> this is the idea. In this moment, no se preocupen de la gramática. Preocupense de describir las cosas correctamente. So, the example. I want a house in the mountains with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. One very big kitchen, beautiful kitchen that has a lot of space, okay? That has enough room for my shoes or for my clothes, okay? I want to have, um, ah, I want to have a closet, a closet just as big as Kim Kardashian. Han visto lo closet de esa mujer? Oh, just yeah. ah, <laughs> like this. Big. So, big, okay? That's it. In this moment, only with your partner, you describe your perfect house. Como se imaginan su casa perfecta. Usen los detalles, descripciones. Wait, sorry. Usen los detalles, los descripciones. No se preocupen de estar, ah, que ah, tengo que usar esta otra. No, only describe, only practice the speaking. This is the important. The house of dreams. Yeah, the, the, your perfect house. Okay. Maybe you have a patio. Maybe you have a yard or a garden. It's your decision. Or maybe, for example, you see, I see there from medium has two houses. Okay. Describe the houses. In this moment, only describe the houses. Okay. Yancy, Stephanie, Anna, any questions? Anna, any questions?
Karen, any questions? No, it's uh, the time. Yes, yes. No, no, it's correct. It's the time. But everything is okay? Yes. Excellent. So, guys, we have the idea how to describe. We describe using the adjectives. Big house, beautiful, nice, uh, the different form, area of house, different, right? Jacuzzi, um, home theater, movie, maybe the pool, different. Today, we're going to learn also another topic. We're going to learn how to use this word, I wish, right? If you, here we have all of the wishes. When we use I wish, okay, we you see we use the verbs in past tense. It's not important if it's past negative or positive. Always we use I wish with the verb in past tense. Always is a rule? It's a rule. So okay. here we can see the wish is for the present. The, the idea is now, but always, always we use in the past tense. And no was is not correct. He was, she was, it was is not correct. Always is going to be were. I wish it were. I wish he were. I wish she were. I wish I were. The correct is were. <laughs> Never use the was. I will. Not use was. Okay. Okay. Only we use wish and the verb in past tense. So you're going to always use, for example, let me pull back. Okay. You're going to use I wish and then the sentence in the past tense. Let's see, we have some more examples. So therefore we're going to. So you wish and then always the verb in the past. I wish I had. I wish I could, I wish I might, uh, uh, I wish I saw the different, okay? But always we have the wish in the past tense. So as an example, you can change the verb, but always you're going to have, I wish. 
and then the sentence in the past. Okay. So I wish I were. Okay. Or I wish I better. I wish I spoke English fluently, for example. Or I wish I had more money. But always the verb is in the past. Okay. You can change the I. You can have for others. You can put, I wish she had a big house, for example. Maybe for your mom. Maybe you wish for your mom. Ah, I wish my mom, I wish she had a big house. Sería como yo deseo que ella tenga una casa grande. Correct. More or less, que ella, tenga, que, ella tenga, que ella tuviera. Que ella tuviera una casa grande. Exactly, exactly. Pero, eh, se puede utilizar como he wish uh, he had a big house. Como Good. él desea tener una casa grande. Ok. Is correct or not is correct? Almost correct. I put in the chat to correct you. Teacher. Almost correct. Yes, Stephanie. Uh, I have a question. Uh, how to uh, write a negative form? Okay. For I example, could... I'm going to, to tell you in Spanish. De sería no estar tan cansado, por ejemplo. Okay. It's in the chat. The negative form. Okay, thank you. For example, here is another in the negative form. Okay, muchos de ustedes ya me han dicho, I wish I didn't have to work tomorrow. <laughs> okay. It's okay, the idea, I wish? Yeah, uh, I don't, I, I have a, a little problem with witches. What is the meaning witches? Not witches, uh, witches. The witches, como la oración, he wishes? Yeah, he witches. What, what is the meaning or, or like, why do you use? The chat. Yeah, Lo when do you use uh, witches? For he and she and For it. he and she is witches. Correct. Okay. For he, she, and it, but it, not really. So only he and she. He wishes, she wishes. Mm -hmm. And then the sentence in the past tense. Okay. I don't know, teacher, but I, I think that is the same rule for the present, right? Correct. Uh, the use in, in, in this guy will wish. Correct. It's the same like the, the third person. It's the same like the third person. Uh, okay. She, she, it with S. Mm -hmm. But when okay. you use wish, I understand. Thank you. You're welcome. Remember, when you use wish, the second sentence in the past. So, so, Yancy, so, so, you need a verb. You need verb in the past tense, Yancy. So, for example, I wish what? I wish I had a farm. I wish I bought a farm. I wish my mom eh, had the different, but you need the subject and the verb. Correct medium. I wish my brother was good idea medium, but remember no was, no was for wish. I wish my brother were here. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So now with your partners, we're going to take one moment and we're going to discuss different wishes so as an example we're going to take a look at different topics use the same structure the subject and wish so for example i wish this is how we begin i wish and then the subject the verb in the past i wish my mother had i wish my brother was were i wish they had or they could whatever here we're going to talk about different things Maybe for your house, your school, your job, your appearance, your family, possession, or skills, okay? 
So for me, maybe I wish I were taller. Okay. I wish I were more muscular. Okay. Or you have different ones. I wish I could. I wish I could type do, 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 do. on the computer. I wish I could type very fast. Teacher, for example, I wish I could have a car. Cor oh, so, so, yeah, it's correct, it's correct, but it's, okay. it's better. I wish I had a car. Ah, I have. Uh huh, not necessary. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wish, I wish I had a, I had, I wish I had a car. Correct. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So now in this moment, we are going to practice with our partners and talk about different topics. What do you wish? Do you wish uh, for your house, for your family, your job, your skill, your profession, different areas? Maybe clothes. I wish I had more shoes. I wish I had whatever, okay?
Okay. Any vocabulary or word or phrase that you say, ah, oh, that you want to know? Uh, teacher, I have a question. How do you say ganar, pero dinero, no un premio? Porque ganar un premio sería como win, but Correct. dinero, uh, I, I don't know. How do you say? It's in the chat. Earn. Okay. Earn. Earn. Mm -hmm. So you say, for example, I wish, and the verb is regular. So you say, I wish I earned more money. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anyone else? Any other questions? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I have a, no, no, no. I have a, a sentence. Mm -hmm. I wish families didn't have sadness. It's okay. It is okay. Ah, oh, okay. Correct. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I see. Ah, you see. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Y eso es mucho más fácil que ver el video de 10 minutos para entender la gramática. Simple y sencillo. I wish, oración en el pasado, yo deseo. Right? Okay, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Have a good weekend and I see you on Monday. Acuérdense you. que ya deben de estar en la unidad, por lo menos la unidad 3. Y si pueden, al día donde estamos hoy, que es 3.7. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Monday. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.